Yodo. Yodo. Alejo! Hello and welcome back to our night or night IELTS. My name is River and tonight we are going to check one of my students' written work. Tonight we are just going to focus on how to write an effective introduction. Okay, so let's get to it. So this line chart reveals, oh I like that, that's very powerful, that how much fast food such as pizza, fish and chips and hamburgers were eaten by underage. Okay, so initially we can see that there's a thing wrong already here. Okay, what is wrong here is that he used a that and a how much for a noun clause. So we are going to erase that. So underage is very broad in its nuance. It might mean that, you know, um, below 10 years old or, you know, preschoolers might say so let's just change this one let's just take teenager for the meantime and then by teenagers in Australia teenagers in Australia is it the same with Australian teenagers? Right, so we need to transfer Australian teenagers. Okay, because if you say teenagers in Australia, they might not necessarily be Australian. So let's go back. This line chart reveals how much fast food such as pizza. Alright, so right from the bat, how much? What's wrong here? There's something wrong here. Okay. Is it does this show an amount on the y-axis? It doesn't. This should be because it's a number of times, so it means it's talking about the frequency. So in this case, we use how frequent or how often. Okay. The nuance of such as is you are just saying like for example, right? Meaning to say that it's it's not specified yet. Okay, but here you can see that it's been specified already into pizza, fish and chips and hamburgers, so such as here is not quite appropriate. We can use the word specifically, okay, or we can use any. Looking at the sentence, do we need a comma here? Or what about here? Okay, what do you think? Alright, so if we placed a comma before the end, you know, this debate of Oxford comma, yeah, this will mean that this will be very confusing if, you know, you are. People will read this part as one rather than hamburgers being a member of A, B, and C. So in this case, I would rather not put a comma there, but in close, the namely clause. There is a slight pause in the thought process of the reader. This line chart reveals how often fast food 
namely pizza, fish and chips, and hamburgers, were eaten by Australian teenagers over a period of 25 years from 1975. Three fast foods namely pizza. Alright, I think that's much more like it. Good. And then, uh, if I were to rewrite this part, you know, T S T T P. Now, moving on to the overview or the overall. Now, what is an overall statement? An overall statement is looks at the graph in one go. In this case, it's a line graph. We can write about the trend of the graph. So, is it going up or is it going down? Mm, overall statement is that in just by reading it, you already have a mental picture of what the graph looks like. You know, so it's your job to facilitate the flow of your words so that you will give the examiner a mental picture okay but examiners are looking for this statement um, otherwise if you missed this point you'll automatically be given a 5.0 in your task response Okay, so he started up in 1975 mentioning fish and chips. It was absolutely popular, okay. It was absolutely popular. Right, okay, that's very emphatic. Again, in academic writing, um, try not to be very emphatic or, you know, present very emotive words. That's we're writing from our brain and not from based on our feelings. The most popular among oh sorry among among three. However, it came turning point. So the it here refers to fish and chips. It came. Okay, let's just check the grammar part. I'm trying to comprehend what he is trying to write about. However, it came to a turning point after a decade, which is in 1985. And last period, fish and chips were not eaten much. And it follows hamburger and pizza. Okay, so there we go. There's nothing much said about hamburger and pizza. Um, the overall statement is just basically talking about the red line, which is fish and chips. So, so in the overall, there are no figures or there are no numbers. Okay, because it it's across the board you put the figures in your body paragraph already turning point <coughs> rather very big not very formal trend shifted towards two okay something like that let's just put that aside first and in period fish and chips were not eaten much we're not eating much you see eating much is not very accurate it's not even not accurate it's erroneous it's wrong then it was often
try to write an overall statement based on how the student uh, presented it. Okay. okay, so there we go. As an overview, at the start of the period, string teenagers consumed fish and chips more frequently than the other two fast foods. However, over the period, can be seen that there's a sh significant shift in the preference for hamburgers and pizza. Yeah, okay. And even summarize this into one statement. So, they, they even trimmed down the two, par uh, two sentences here because, again, it's an overall statement that should be summarized in a concise way. Read. And again, significant popularity. That's good enough. All right, so that ends our session for tonight. Thank you very much for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you in the next video. My name is River. Thanks for dropping by Swan Language Services. Bye bye. All right, this is pronunciation and intonation fluency exercise. Happy and sunny feeling. Okay, everybody will have a chance. How are you? Dave, number one, is it a had or a did? Or both? Ah, fire, water, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, three kinds. Very kind, but. Well, there's also a kind of but um, sometimes I could remember that the verb, but I forget that subject. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So let's see how it goes. I don't know. I don't have time also for that. <laughs> And because we don't have a clear law about the um, uh, an illegal an illegal ha uh, having children here, so automatically the the children of the illegals. Mm.